And when Dick Nixon becomes president of the United States, we're going to put a lot of dull things back on the American scene. Things like patriotism. <laughs> and there's something wrong when a naval vessel of one of the greatest powers in the world is seized on the high seas and taken into custody by a sixth-rate nation. When you consider what's going on in this country, when you see the attempts to divide the law-abiding public from the Negro community, which are ridiculous, I came here tonight in several police cars. The faces were not white faces, they were black faces, and those black faces are just as dedicated to the preservation of law and opportunity in this country as anyone. I consider further that anyone with the nerve to try to put the Negro community into one bucket like it's a conglomerate glob of clay that will simply do what a few irresponsible militants advocate is missing the boat. And I say, as I said to that man, there are Negro doctors and lawyers and lathe operators, and labor union members, and assembly line workers, and bus drivers, all of whom work for a living and work hard and have a stake in this system. If you think that they are going to go along and support and encourage the Hanoi traveling, Peking supporting, Castro-loving group of militants that we're hearing from in this country, I think you're wrong. We've heard a lot about those little old ladies in tennis shoes. I'm looking forward to the day when they can wear high heels again. They won't have to wear those tennis shoes to outleg the criminals on the city streets. And there's only one thing that can change it, and that's new leadership in Washington.